Right, I have just observed a big herd, a big herd of black cows, look. And they're in what the sheep filled. I've never seen cows in there before. And not, well, not only that, but the gate's open. So it's a good job I'm doing it this way round, isn't it? The gate is open. They can get in here. A big herd of black cows. I reckon they've just been let in there. There's no sign of cow pack. Look, in here. Unless they're fenced off at all. Well, that's a bit of a worry. You've got to be so alert now. There's me saying about the other day when the cows turned up in Middle Down Nature Reserve. I'd never seen them there before. It looks like, oh, it looks like there might be an electric fence up to stop them coming this way. The sheep are all right. They can, they can get through. Oh, I see. There is an electric fence up. I've, like I said, I've never seen the cows in here before. I just had to turn the video back on because there's a sheep and then over there, big herd of black cows all round. They're either eating hay or there's a water hole there. Yeah, I wouldn't want to end up near them. Maybe the farmer, because someone was killed last week. Lots of people have been killed this year. I think something like 190 people. Most of them farm workers, by the way. People with experience of them. Um, been done. Oh, look at that massive cloud over my sunshine. <sighs> yes, there's an electric fence. Right, we've got to climb over it. That's it. Maybe the farmer's done that. Because cows are unpredictable. Now, I normally always do it in reverse this walk, but I've never, even so, I've never seen the cows in there before. God, I was just getting my foot dry and I've got to go in the grass again. Yeah, big herd. Look, a young herd. One's got a big white face. There's only one with a big white face, I think. They look frisky, don't they? There's Robert Warren over there. No sign of anything in this field. And then I'm walking towards the farm with the ruin of a tractor. Um, that's been there for years since I've been walking through these fields. Um, it's gradually got worse, rusted away more. Bits missing off it. If it's getting to look less and less like a tractor now. Right then, let's turn off. Turn off for now. Right then, it's a very short video. I've emerged from the farm back there. Uh, observed a big black cow with a very young bullock or bull calf. She looked over at me but she was fenced off and over quite a long way from me. It's got more cloudier, I've noticed. Um, so, Robo Warren over there. I'm just hoping my shoe, they look a bit damp. It, I don't, it's not feeling too bad at the moment. Um, but of course I'm gonna be wandering around near grass. That's what's made that wet. But, uh, Farmers are busy. They've got loads of stuff packed back there. Um, there's the last bits getting in now before the winter, I should imagine now. Getting as much as they can gathered in. Um, big herd of cows through there that apparently can't get through that thin little electric wire. It's funny how they know that, isn't it? 
I can hear a big tractor now. And I'll, of course, I'll be going up that, see that track up the top there? There's somebody climbing it now. Either going, I think they're going up, yeah, they're, they're near the top now. I've got to climb up that. Um, that isn't anywhere near as bad as what I climbed out of Cheddar. I mean, that's the only thing with Cheddar. I, Cheddar's a gateway to the Mendips. It's a gateway to lots of walks. But most of them, you have to go up to get onto these walks, right? So whatever you do in Cheddar, that's what happens. Whatever walk you decide to do, Big tractor there. Back on again. There's Robert Warren over there. People who follow me will know, will start to get to know the reference points. Very, very quickly because I'm always referring oh I can hear some moomoos Milkway Farm this is called so they haven't all been let out then they haven't all been let out sound of the countryside everyone Yeah, I'll be seeing, well, I say I'll be seeing Roebarrow. It all depends on bus services. And if we're going to have a lockdown, they're already saying Somerset's increasing its COVID um, people. Um, we've had a lot of visitors from Birmingham and other parts of the country that keep coming down here. So they might actually try and stop that. Or they might lock us in again, lock us down. Which which affects the buses, you see. Now if and um, right now to get off that now. There's that is Tinian's farm, that's the stables. That is. Some lovely views from here though. Some lovely views from here. Tinian's trekking centre. Yeah, so there's the Tinian's stables. There's a little track that goes past the cottage there and leads you into Roebarrow right into the, the wood there various tracks that you can follow um, so I'm going to turn off and take a picture climbed up the bridle path past some ponies and some mountain bikers some funny shaped clouds like that one coming down like that and then you've got one with like a hoop in it I'm on the top here now on the parade um, of the Mendip Hills, the area of outstanding natural beauty as it's known. A few people out. As long as those clouds stay up, not too bad. And they're right over there. There's a track in a minute. I'll take you straight to the trig point. That's the quick way home. Right up there, that, see? There's the trig point. But my plan today is a slightly longer route. Well, not much longer, but it's down the other side of the hill. So I won't be going near the trick point. I mean, I could do. I could say, well, why don't you just do the trick point today? Because the weather's looking dodgy. And then you could just literally go back down there, look. See? Or there's another one further up. There's a few of them. They all link up. <sighs> I 
But if we come over here, we see the other side of the Mendips. Um, of course, I've done it quite a few times now. Done this walk. Got pictures before of Barrington Coombe. Um, there's Robert Warren over there. Western Supermare, Hillfort right over there in the distance. Bristol Channel. Um, suspension bridges in the distance. All the various towns like Yatton, Winscombe. Um, sort of everywhere else. Um, so, what I've got to remember, when I did this last time, I took a turning. It was too far down and I had to backtrack. I don't really want to do that. I have got, not lost, but once you come off the track here, you have to sort of wander through gorse if you lose your way. So I'm hoping to find this track in a minute. Down the other side a bit. Not, it's not yet. It's not up here. It's further down. Yeah, so we just keep our fingers crossed. It's not supposed to rain till three o'clock and then it's not supposed to last. Right, over and out for a minute, we'll take some photos. So this is it, this is the area of outside natural beauty. You do get cows up here and horses by the way. And people. Right, right over there we got Breen Down. That's Breen Down, like a big elephant. And over there we've got Steep Home in the Bristol Channel. And a bit further over, it might come in, will be, um, there it is, Flat Home with the lighthouse on it. And there down there is Weston, the college. And of course the hill fort. And Wells much further over. So you do get some quite good views. Now we're coming up to another track now, which will take you to the trick point. So I say I was getting nervous now and thought, oh, I don't want to do all that down there. I'm scared. What I'd have to do is go up there. You know, well, I'm actually doing a longer route in a way because I've got to walk back up a hill like this later. There's the way into Robert Warren. In through there is Robert Warren. Uh, And you follow that if you want to go to the trick point where you go down here. This is what I call the parade. It's a big wide patch. I always remember it. But what I've got to try and remember is the way off. Because last time I think I went too far down. And I kept to tell you, I still can't remember now. I still think it's a little bit further down. Because it's when you emerge from the wood further down, you come out and you get this track that goes across. And I don't think it's this one. No, because it sort of more or less comes out. When you come out from down there, it'll be opposite. So, looks like they might have harvested some bracken here. That's always a good thing, because you can see really well. Um when they've harvested the bracken. I think they rotate where they harvest. And of course, over, over, there, over the top there will be Burrington Coombe, which is um, it's a type of gorge in a way, but much smaller than cheddar, but made of similar material. And I have been over there a couple times. Um, I was hoping there would be a bus that would take me closer from Weston so I could actually spend a day exploring over that this side. I mean, I think there used to be a number 62. See, look, that's coming out of there. 
and go in across there, but I don't think that's the one. I don't think that's the one. I think it's a bit further down, but this is where I went wrong before, and I had to come back up. I don't think it's that one. It's not, li it's not down enough, but I don't want to go right down. I know I've made a mistake if I go right down. But here's we got the row barrel warren up close. Like I said, this is one of the, this isn't the longest walk I do, because when I do the longest walk, I walk from Cheddar, and I'll include a velvet bottom and the hill fort. Now I'm missing out, probably missing out, well, I'm definitely missing out the hill fort. That's not going to happen. But when I had Alberta, I was able to do the whole lot, because there was no pressure for time. No pressure for time at all. There's a couple of people behind me. Yeah, it, 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 that's halfway. That's another way into the wood there. That's another way into Row Barrow. Over there, the big gate. I just zoom in. There's a pathway. And then there's a gate, look, into Row Barrow. There. But that's not the one we do. It's a lower one, but not the lowest but not the lowest. I mean, in theory, you can just walk over the top. When they've done the bracken, you can literally walk over the top here. But I actually like doing this, this other path because you go down through little, where little streams run and things like that. But it is a long walk. It is a challenge, not because I can't do it. So that's nothing to do with it. It's because of buses, I'm afraid. Can I look at Western from this angle? I might stop now and take a picture of that actually. Who ran out?